I kept thinking, no, it's not wonderful at all. It's awful. What we then got from Boris was a promise, as the general election hove into view, that in fact they would not go along the path of political and regulatory alignment, uh, and that we'd act thereafter as an independent country. And it's a theme, to be fair to David Frost, that he's repeated again and again and again. I kind of get why Barnier's upset, because Barnier thought he had a deal, and Boris said it was up and ready, and now we've changed our minds. But here's the point. The British electorate voted for us not to be tied to those rules, and that, I think, does supersede what was in the agreement. I, for Boris and his team to give in at this stage to what Barnier wants, and he was pretty clear in Dublin yesterday that nothing's changed as far as he's concerned. But for the Johnson government to give in to that would be not just a breach of contract with the British people, it would be a complete, another, just as Mrs May tried before, complete betrayal of Brexit. And with that, that hanging by a thread support that I spoke about a few minutes ago would disappear, would literally disappear. I mean, this would be the chance for Labour perhaps to win the next election, and I doubt Boris could even survive long as leader. And you know what? I think they know that. 